Hello. I'll teach you how I made Draken and Mikey's glass painting. First print your photo. Print your photo according to the size of your glass or acrylic sheet. I'm using an acrylic sheet that I bought from Shopee. Also you will need to flip the photo too. I also printed an extra copy that I'm using for swatches of the colors I'll be using. Now here are the materials you should prepare. First, paint brushes, you'll mostly need detail brushes. Next some toothpick to clean the edges, you can use any sharp item though. I stored my pre-mixed paints here on my paint pots that I bought from Shopee. Here are the acrylic paints that I used. Most of them is from Art Rangers and one is from Focus. You can use any brand of acrylic paint since making this needs a lot of paint, so it won't be see-through when you put it under bright lighting. Labeled it by numbers to remember it easily. Doing this saves me a lot of time, and avoids wastage. The reason why I printed two copies. You'll also need a fine tip permanent marker. This one is from the brand Pilot. An oil-based permanent marker works best. Let's now peel this off. I prefer to use acrylic sheets since it's safer to use because it won't break easily. Plus it's also affordable. Make sure to clean the surface, so you'll have a clean smooth area to draw on. Ta-da! Now it's all clean. Now place it on your printed photo. I used tape to secure its place so it won't move. Now begin to outline it. Yeah, I did not like it. You can erase it with alcohol. Make sure to fully clean the area so it won't leave black stains on the glass. I'll do it again. Draken's chin doesn't look good. Looks like I'm not having it today. Cleaning it carefully. Make sure it's dry before doing it again my new bestie now i'll draw it again carefully doing it this time me trying my best not to mess this up i hate my shaky hands You can outline it again once it's dry to give it a more opaque color. I kind of had a hard time making his tattoo smooth AF. I plan to clean and sharpen the edges using some alcohol and a toothpick. Lightly clean the edges with alcohol. Be careful not to lay a drop of alcohol on the outline, it will eventually make the outline fade. Cleaning his brows. Sharp sharp sharp. Make sure to dry or wipe the remaining alcohol left on the areas you cleaned. Yay, here's the final outline. Look how much tissue I've used. It's now time to paint. This is the part that I like. Always paint the shadow first. Don't mind me I'm just plotting where the shadow will be. Make sure to paint in a dabbing motion. Because spreading it will only create a thin layer, we don't want that. It needs to be thick since we are achieving a solid color so it won't be see-through.
clean clean.